Yes, so good day and welcome once again to Talk It Talk Audio. It's always a pleasure being here. Now today what I want to talk about briefly, it's the situation that is happening um, in South Africa. Now, ah, it's a little bit sad because um, I'm thinking that, I mean, after all that problem that South Africa went through, before well during apartheid actually um i was about to say before um mr mandela came from prison and become president but anyway during the apartheid the, stru- the destruction of the people the oppression the i mean south africa went through a lot you know it's people and stuff you know due to the foreign rule and the kind of laws that they had implemented to destroy the people anyway it changed somewhat uh after mandela came from prison and become president but you look at it south africa was never actually out of the woods they always had uh, the internal conflicts and the problems, which uh, it makes it really hard for a lot of um, of the natives. You know, it become hard for most of them. Well, it has always been hard, but I guess most people were looking forward to a better life, but they had their struggles, you know. I mean... During that time, we even lost um, Lucky Doobie in those times on there, you know. You know, because of the crime and everything that happened. Okay, so the fight, after a period of time, they recognized that um, the fight was um, is towards the people that caused uh, the problems that um, actually were plaguing South Africa. For all those years, you know, so the enemy was recognized and the people decide, well, okay, we will go get the enemies. We will go get the lands and, you know, because the lands belong to the people of South Africa. Okay, so in my view, and I guess a lot of people's view, that was um, basically a good move and it's still a good move. Okay, so... Yes, so that's it. So they recognize the enemy. But no, when you look at what is happening now in um, South Africa, where there is all this looting and, uh, you know, burning and stuff like that, you know, it's like, it's it's like they're not looking at the people who caused them all this worries and problems for all these years. Basically, they are targeting their own people. And when I say their own people, I'm talking about their own people that looks like them, black. And the people that is actually in their sights is basically the people of uh, Nigerian descent, you know, descent, you know, citizens of Nigeria who came there and um, build their shops and, you know, open businesses. I mean... <laughs> Seriously, you know, your own businesses, you open your own business, you're selling vehicles and stuff like that. And um, the people look at those people, the same black people as the enemies and say they are actually taking their jobs. Well, then my point is, if those were your jobs, why didn't you open a shop? As a matter of fact, if people open shop, then you want to be self-employed the way the people come and get themselves self-employed, then you open a shop. But no. They decide to get together, blame the people, and say they are the ones who are causing the problems down there. Say they're carrying drugs and stuff like that. Well, we know it doesn't matter what nationality you, you are from or whatever it is, a lot of people do drugs and stuff. But um, they decide they will look for a scapegoat. A lot of you people out there does be doing the same thing. Look for somebody to blame for your problems. Okay? So it's like 
they think that is the are the people who bring in drugs in the country no those are not the people who bring in drugs in your country you see it have people that bring in drugs in your country that actually looking to destroy you guys because what you all fail to understand is that you all are at war with the people who created apartheid you know but now that you all fighting against each other your own people that was the objective you see that is what most of you don't understand so you're targeting the wrong people right about now okay so the people who actually bringing in the drugs and influencing the drugs and the every other thing within your community to destroy you know destroy your people you're not looking at them anymore no you're not so they turn you against your own people who open businesses now because it's envy on both sides your enemy envy the people who come from nigeria and open businesses because that couldn't have happened during the time of apartheid okay so the nigerian people are opening their business they are selling cars they are very industrious in that respect you know how they how they go already okay they are doing that so the your enemies your real enemies now is basically envious of that because they are actually seeing that there are black people though they may not be south africans but there are black people that are being very industrious so what they do they saw some mischief and i just know is those people who did that they saw the mischief and have you guys fighting against each other making you all believe that um is the nigerian who bringing in the drugs in the place but then even during the time of our apartheid you all had drugs so how nigerians were bringing in drugs even during the time of apartheid you all have crime and unemployment so how did the the, the the nigerians did that or you know think about that you know so now that they they burn the place they 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 burn people shop you know because um i guess south africa was becoming something like a very industrious area for places in africa because people were living in nigeria and other places to go to africa in in south africa to work you know so that was helping building up the country you understand in a black way okay now so those kalawags now who decide to turn their guns and their, their fire and everything on their own people because it doesn't matter where they are from nigeria or south africa i consider you people to be one people really you understand so because of that the the native south africans become jealous and envious and saying that the people are taking their jobs when in reality you listen to other people talking about situations like that within south africa saying that those people are lazy you see it's lazy and most of the people they're not training their children properly most of them try to get them to learn a trade they don't they don't encourage them along those lines but then these are the same people that want to get rich and sit down and um, uh, blame other people for their, for their issues now the point is in south africa there is a lot of people that could blame for a lot of the issues that is happening but it's not the nigerians you see your guys problem you all know had been there from ever since you know for a lot of years you know during the time of apartheid okay and it's the thing about it it is very shameful you know like totally shameful up watch it is just shameful to see black on black crime because that is criminal you know to see people looking like you you're trying to kill them and they have to run from your country leave i mean come on you're born this store so when you're born this store you don't have a job you're born this store you lick down the shop and everything like that would you replace it that's the question would you replace it with all these damages that you that you that, that, that your people doing would you replace it or would you depend on the government to do it for your guys that's crazy and that's lunacy and as a result of that your actions people will be looking on 
at South Africa and saying that you all were better when all you were in apartheid. We know that is not true. We know that. You know, we know that is absolutely not true. But then watching you guys behave, I mean, with your all people like savages on the street, when your enemies are there sitting watching you. I mean, it's just shameful. You know, it's just like right back to Rome, you know, where, you know, they they put all the fighting in an arena and killing each other. Two blacks killing and chopping each other. And then you all, the real enemies now, up there watching and cheering you all on. That's how foolish you people look. Burning your own people's stores and stuff like that. Stop it. And then one black one, I don't know if he's illiterate or what, saying that he have a gang and his gang have to eat and his gang have to smoke. Yeah. So, I mean, think about it. Think about the level of thinking. You have your gang creating all this destruction to eat something and smoke something. That's crazy. You know, that's crazy. You know? So that means you all that doing all the destructions, you all have no intent intention of thinking at a higher level. You're thinking about just eating something and smoking something. So you people are just destructive. Straight. You don't have a vision. And the vision you don't have, that is why you all will perish if you all continue on in that vein. Because, I mean, just to eat and smoke, that is not a vision. That is just a basic stupidity as far as I'm concerned so far. You understand? So, you people have to pull out your all selves together, you know. Because um, if you doesn't do that, then, well, your enemies will just sit down and say the same thing. These people can't rule themselves. Watch them. You give them a couple of years to sort out themselves and look at what they are doing in their own place. You see, that is exactly what I see when I see you guys breaking up things. You know, so just stop it, you know. I hope, uh, I mean, somebody in South Africa could see that video and learn something from that. Be at peace, be blessed, you know. But just stop the thing, you know. Have, have love for each other, you know. Stop being envious. Envy is a crime. Being envious and hateful is a crime against humanity. You understand? Don't blame other people for your job. If you want a job, you go ask them for a job. You understand? Because most of them said that they want to employ you people. Though we know that people just come in your country, it doesn't matter whether they look, as you, look at you as, or not, and then they brand you. As soon as they come, they brand you because of the the nature of your of the of the community in which you dwell you know so they might have this notion that everybody there is like a criminal and because of that they may not want to employ i mean the natives you know it does happen i know it does happen you know but a point of the matter is the fact that a nigerian could come into your land and do something like that you know open a shop then you open my shop. You don't have to go burning down his shop and trying to kill them and running them down out of the country. That is con counterproductive. You know, this attitude is the same take a smoke and eat something attitude. You have no wisdom in that. You know? So, it's, it, 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 it's honestly just, just, uh, just shameful, you know? Just shameful, you know? I mean, pull up. You know, pull up, pull up, pull up. You know, see you in another video. Be at peace.